Have you, in the last year or two, been thinking in the back of your mind, maybe it's time for a change, maybe it's time to step down from the Supreme Court? No. No. Uh, a lot of people had asked me over the last several years, because I am getting mature, uh, when would I start thinking about retirement? And uh, when I got my Medicare card in the mail, I thought soon I should start thinking about retirement. Um, but uh, there's so much going on in the world, and it's, a, it's an exciting world to be in. So I had not really been thinking about change. Uh, every once in a while, I think about a lake and a margarita, but I think that happens to everybody. Because she graduated from the law school and feels a deep attachment to it, Softly was involved in some conversations about finding a new dean when she was the chief justice of the main Supreme Judicial Court. The person who Softly thought ought to be the next dean said, absolutely not, and then asked her, why don't you do it? What was it about the job that made you say, yes, I'm going to do it. I think I'd like it. I love lawyers. Lawyers are, they're creative, they're problem solvers, they're funny, they're smart, they, uh, they care about people. So uh, the opportunity to be involved with the creation of new lawyers at a time when it's never been so important for us to pay attention to the Constitution and the rule of law and what it is lawyers can do to make any community work better, uh, it was just um, absolutely an intriguing pro prospect for me. I have to point out, and you know this, that you love lawyers, but <laughs> if we were to walk out onto that street and just start asking people at random what they think of lawyers, we'd get a very different response. That, that is because uh, lawyers don't, what the wonderful things that lawyers do in this world don't get a lot of publicity. Okay. There are 3,000 lawyers at work in Maine today. They're helping people create new businesses. They're helping people solve problems around property. They're helping people whose families are in desperate straits. And they're doing all of this very quietly and very effectively. So uh, I, part of my job, I think, is to help the world know the wonderful things that lawyers do and to help young students understand that a law degree helps you do all kinds of things that make the world a better place. High on the list of Softly's priorities as dean of the law school, addressing racial injustice and a lack of diversity in the legal system and society at large. One of the big issues for us, and I think this is true across the country, is that we need to create pathways to power for a much more diverse group of people. When I graduated from high school, there were no women judges. And uh, before my career was over, I was able to be Chief Justice. It makes a difference having diversity at the table, and we haven't done enough with regard to racial injustice, with regard to the LGBTQ plus community. We need to make sure that all of our positions of power are open to the diversity of human nature. Another challenge for Softly, figuring out how the law school will navigate the lasting changes created by the coronavirus. Are you already thinking, maybe we don't need this big building, maybe we don't need the physical space that we've had, maybe we're gonna do things differently and it's not going back to the way it used to be at the School of Law. There's no maybe about it. Everything will change. We have a student uh, who will take all of his courses in Vermont this year from the law school. We have one student in Arista County who will take his courses at home in the county. And the mix of online and other kinds of education, it's all gonna change. You're a people person. You love the law, but you don't wanna spend eight hours a day in a library just by yourself looking through legal books. I'm sure that part of the allure for you of the job was that you'd get to be around students and you'd get to be around interesting professors and so forth. Well, since you arrived, you've been in a pretty empty building or working from home. What's that been like? Th thanks for that reminder. That's, uh, that's really great. So I arrived in the law school to a completely empty and locked down building 
and no students in the hallways, no students where we are. It's been um, painful. <laughs> I think that's the only way to put it. But that's true for everyone in the world right now. We're doing everything we can to find ways to stay connected. Uh, everyone is sharing all of the bad television shows that they're binging, which is very helpful to keep us sane as we get through this. So are you urging all of your law students to watch your favorite show, Judge Judy? No. Oh, oh, if only I had. Uh, so let I'm me just take say this no. one last time. That is not judge, that is entertainment, and it's not very good entertainment.